Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm going to decorate these photo album covers. I'm going to end up taking these out and I'm going to make these, I want to make one an idea book and one I may make an ephemera holder. I haven't made up my mind because I could use these. We'll just have to see. But I want to um, see what I can do with these and make them a little prettier. I got these at a thrift store and they were $1.99 each. So I've got some pretty paper and I think I wanna do this one on here and this one on here and just at least do the front. I'm not sure if I'll do the back because it's gonna be a, a basic. It's not like a journal that I'm gonna sell or give away, but um, something for my use. But I like to make it pretty, but I don't want it to be so bulky that I can't put it on a bookshelf. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with this one. And I hope y'all are doing good. And I think I'm just gonna tear this down. I may use my tear ruler just to get an idea. I think that'll be pretty and that color kind of blends in with that. And I am just going to give it a good coat of Mod Podge and then lay it down. dry and now I'm going to decorate the front and this one I know I'm going to use for my ephemera um, idea book I'm not sure what I'm going to use this one for yet but I'm going to go ahead like I said I'm going to keep it simple for right now and I went ahead and I have distressed the edges of my cards This one I'm just gonna do something like that and I am going to glue that down and first before I glue it down I'm going to make sure I can write neat enough to I'm sorry I'm terrible about not finishing my sentences I'm gonna see if I can write it go ahead and write that neat enough before I glue it down glitter glue and this one I'm going to go ahead and glue down and just hope that when if I do decide that my handwriting will be spot on it may become a journal I'm not sure cut off the little antenna on my butterflies but they just don't quite <laughs> not easy to cut around all right and now I just want to do the inside cover and I'm going to take these out I'm not going to throw them away because I'll use them for something 
but I've already cut out some pages to decorate. And for this one, I think I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use that over here. My paper I just cut, cut in half, and it wasn't quite long enough to cover the whole thing. So I've got some pretty coordinating paper to go with it. Put a piece there. And I think that's kind of pretty. And I'm going to do this book just like I did this book, but I'm not going to make you watch, so I'll be back. All right, put that little bit of washi tape just to break, off, break up that cut. It just kind of gave it a little finishing to it, I believe. And I think I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So I'll be back. All right. I really love how these turned out. I think they're beautiful. Now, I just need to add some pages so that I can attach my ephemera. And what I'm going to do is I've got this backing board. It's like a comic book backing board. And I'm just going to trace out the size of the page. Really, all I need is the size. This way. I'm just going to get my hole punch. There we go. And I am just going to make my holes. Right. Make sure it fits. Just cut some cardstock and I'm going to center this best I can. And there we go. Now I'll do that for the rest of these. Well, here they are. I hope you like them. I added my pages and a few of the um, ephemera in there. This one I paper clipped because so I could remember how to fold this and it was from G. Kerr and um, I've tried to write down if I remember who where I got this idea so that if I need to go back and look at the video I can like I remember this from Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Dot and I just 
put in here that you can add paper for a little notebook. And um, like Gail Augustinelli, she did this little pocket with these little tags. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I hope you like this as much as I do. And the good thing about this is I can add pages as I need to. So until next time, bye y'all.